man, you come straight out of a cone. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> welcome to another episode of Straight Out of a Comic Book, the show where you get to see your favorite blurbs. I'm trying to, you know, trying to get with the times. Your hey. favorite blurbs talking about all things outside of comic book, entertainment, everything. And of course, this one is no different. We are talking about the latest addition to the Marvel Cinematic television universe which is also correlated with the cinematic universe miss marvel miss marvel has premiered on disney plus following the journey of kamala khan into her way as miss marvel in the comic books man and i just gotta say um it seems like it is trying to do something pretty dope and that's what we're here to talk about today with my fellas uh, of course jerry curl danvers and young hey. deuce of Geek Set Podcast here with me today again. How y'all doing today, fellas? Stupendous. Living the dream as always, bro. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Glad to hear. But of course, man, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Episode one has dropped of Miss Marvel on Disney Plus. So, of course, like always, I want to get y'all first reactions on it, starting with DR. Um, I think they messed up with this one. Okay. Okay. Because it's too many conflicting recipes of how the Marvel Universe typically works. <clears throat> if it's a new character, it's usually it, will, it should usually have a big name, like they did with Moon Knight. Everyone yeah. knows him, Isaac, uh, Oscar Isaac. Yeah. He has a face that's recognizable. Or they should have paired her up with an actual huge name early, like uh, paired her up with seen a real, a real quick cameo of Carol Danvers. Yeah. To kind of get people like, oh, they, oh, she was actually at the, at the Comic-Con thing. Yeah. Even though know, I know she's going to eventually be in this episode, in this series, because that, that's the reason why they're, they're going to be Marvels. Um, and they don't, they don't have no big names on here. So that's why, and if you saw Disney, this is Disney Plus's lowest rated uh, show of I mean Disney Plus show of all time. Yeah. Um because it just it didn't have enough behind it, enough marketing behind it. She's not a big name. No one knows her. Um and we're in a we're still in a very racist United States, man. Um if you don't have no white savior uh <laughs> with a big face um for me this this means just looking at for Marvel. I love the show. But for me to keep people's attention um I feel like they should have the first episode to kind of get people attracted to it. I love the direction. I love the the, the co-directors. They did their thing. Very Scott Pilgrimish. Um, I love how mm -hmm. her, her imagination and how they implemented that with the text messages and how her brain was working. Love the show. So that's my thoughts about it. Before yeah. we get into more details. All right. Well, yeah. so I, I I do have an opposing to towards yours with it because. Um, one of the reasons why I did love Moon Knight, even though we like I, I knew a little bit about Moon Knight, I like not knowing the origins of these characters, like you know, or like who they are as in depth, you know, as as we are, right? And so I do like the fact that they didn't go with a known face or somebody that we have from the past because I like I get what you're saying, but like in a sense, I like that Marvel is setting up these new heroes and these new characters, right? So it's like you know pairing them with somebody then you always have that comparison you always have that remembrance where in miss marvel even though she is going to be a marvel you're since getting this new character this actress who are in her own so now i get a chance to just be in this and not have to convolute it with everything with like what we've already went through with the mcu so now i'm getting able to start seeing okay where's the mcu going and knowing that they're going to invest in in her and knowing that like you know even like the small easter eggs of like you're you're seeing like how impactful thanos was like that that to me has been the biggest thing with everything that has happened everybody has been um has been every show and everything that we've gotten so far has been in response to what happened in end game right so it shows how big of an impact that was and now and then we finally got our answer also on why everybody knows exactly what happened on the battlefield so like we kind of know now and so I, I love seeing like what the people how people 
like normal people have to deal with it obviously you know we know that she ends up getting powers but seeing how normal people fantasize about our heroes fantasize about war and think about like in now we had world war ii world war one the civil rights and yes those are wars but there is a fantasy to it of the way that we tell the lore about it how we talk about it and so seeing how this interacts with superhero stuff and seeing how they they got this convention celebrating these uh, these heroes and how normal people want to be these heroes and what they took from the story and everything like that and seeing that i'm liking the direction of this and i don't i don't think bringing in past characters would allow us to get that because then we'll we'll still be like oh well let's get back into this storyline of you know whatever the character is so i mm -hmm. for me like i said mm -hmm. i like the series but i like how it's going with not having so many known names so far yet yeah uh, I I agree I agree with you, but I also do have to say I agree with Dion as well. Um, I do one thing, like you said, I like that they did. Uh, to your point, Deuce, I like the fact that it is a no name person because now it helps me focus on Kamala Khan herself yep. and Miss Marvel rather than this big name person seeing will they justify playing this person. Yeah, and mm -hmm. stuff like that, like how we had to do with Robert Tom, with, uh, you know, with Robert Downey, with uh, Chris Hemp, with you know Chris Hemsworth and the rest of them. Like we we weren't too sure how they would play as these characters mm -hmm. and stuff. But for this one, it's like I don't know this person, so I get to see will Kamala Khan come to life on stage. But with that being said, I think because of a lot of the elements that you had added, Deuce, like with Avengers Khan going on in there and seeing the after effects of Thanos one thing we've all seen the mcu do is at least have that one anchor that's connecting mm -hmm. to something like tom yeah. holland had um yeah iron Free man move. like mm -hmm. yeah like some like even like sean chi sean chi had something bigger that anchored because i didn't know who that dude sean chi was but he had you know like aquafina yeah the, the lady from everywhere anywhere at all of the same time playing as that you know right. you had someone that kept you in connected to that maybe we're gonna get that in the later episodes of this but like how he said i feel like it's it is missing that and then two marvel took a gamble with using this as that example to use a no name with no new features when who should have had that was spider-man spider-man should have been the one that didn't have no names and stuff like right. that only because there's enough in there that he does that where we can see this come together and him become spider-man because he's a friendly neighborhood spider -Man. right so watching him go from junk to the new stark tech and stuff like that but they didn't give it to us like that they gave it to right. us he has this fancy suit he's already into that now we have to see this person with cosmic power we have to see a 16 year old with cosmic powers this is the first deal with this by herself but yeah but see you got to remember though like so we did kind of get an anchor because she's pretty much us she's a fan girl who does videos who talk about this right she does blogging and she listens to scott lane's podcast so it's like the anchor of somebody who's connected is a regular person who has to deal with all of this now obviously the bracelets give her power and her mom there's more to learn about her and why she has cosmic powers but i think the anchor was like this is an everyday person who watches it on youtube watches the news who hears about what's going on who doesn't have any powers but who wants to be you know who like who wants to be better you know in life ah, you know? so you saying like the mcu life is the anchor so that's the so that's that, yeah, yeah that's what i took okay. from it yeah that's okay what I, I can see it. that okay so kind of like how um uh, again going back to spider-man michael keaton's character was with the vulture we saw the ramifications yeah. of how he became vulture because everybody right. they took everything from him yeah because of that so yeah. i i can see what you're saying from that but even too like i said from dion's case it's a it's a stretch because of the fact of it being miss marvel right so and you, got, you gotta look at this show like you gotta look at this show like like this is kate bishop yeah she is essentially kate because the, the show hawkeye is about kate bishop yeah we know more about kate bishop than hawkeye mm -hmm. um but the move that show had hawkeye right shadowing the whole scene so yeah. I, I just, I just kind of, like like I said I love the show the fact that I'm looking like what happened so people didn't watch this show why don't people like the show I'm like what recipe that like I said I love it I love mm. the, the how they yeah, got his producer brain in that's why <laughs> yeah I'm just thinking like what, I'm like, what was wrong with the show what was wrong well, I think, with the show I think I think what you were saying was too it's the one we don't know what's about to happen because yeah. two 
And then we we don't know what's happened with the original Captain Marvel. We don't yeah. know what's going on with Monica Rambeau's mother in the multiverse of her mm -hmm. being a uh, Marvel. And or we what villain is. Yeah, and that too, we don't know who her villain is because we had like she had she has a, a whole bunch of them because like you and who are you gonna pull from because you can't use lady octopus you can't use no which is one of those two so it's like are you going with a bigger name like dr faltas dr x are you going with discord or the death bringer or are you going to do like uh the celestial destructors like well, it's like yeah so it's like or or, or that's where she got her powers from from that myth. but see and see and that's the thing did, where she got it from was a Terrigen bomb. When that's how she developed her powers. And then two, I thought that was what was going to happen in this show because when they mentioned Avengers Con, I was like, oh, so y'all going like the video game where the yeah. bomb goes off and she gets her powers. Now, I'm not saying that that doesn't happen because like you said, when she put on the bracelet, that's how she developed her powers. But that could also be that artifact came from someone wearing it who was a part of a Terrigen explosion. And that's and what I'm thinking. I'm thinking either her mom or somebody in her family that her mom knows because... Well, I'm thinking that one they said that was all her... The, her mom always speaks of her, that has her hair yeah. in the clouds. That yep. one. Her, yep. her mom. Yeah, her mom. That's what I'm thinking because, like, she even says, like, you know, like, you know, like the fact that she says that you want to be a cosmic person, but you should find your story. It feels like she already knows this path. She's seen this happen, you know. Like I said, to her mom in regards to that. So it's like, I mean, but obviously, I, I, you know, Marvel. I mean, we have what this was. This is a six episode series, right? I believe so. Yes. Yeah. Oh, they might go fast. Well, I mean, all I think recently, I think. The, I think um, Hawkeye was six, wasn't it? Or was yeah, it all of the majority of them are like six. Of yeah, Moonlight like, was I think six. I'm like many movies. Yeah. yeah, and so you know, same thing. Like I said, you know, yeah, I get it. Yeah, we don't know the villain. I mean, we see that there's you know, old boy that popped up in um in in uh, uh No Way Home. Uh, you know, at oh, yeah. in, in the end, yeah, the detective and stuff. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna say this. I think he's a he's a uh, what's the name? Shapeshifter. Uh, what's the name? A scroll. A scroll. Oh, he's a scroll. You think so? I told yeah. you. I told y'all. You know what? I, I can see it because scrolling. remember, he like how did how did he know immediately? Like he knew for a uh, fact that Nick mm -hmm. Fury was off Earth when Tom's like we called Nick. Yeah. Was like no, you, you we, we all know he's off. He's off. Yeah. like how did he know? Like exact? I know that right. he's part of that cleanup crew, but I feel like the cleanup crew wouldn't know that Nick Fury is it, like before the Avengers. Like well, I don't no, know. we don't know. We don't know the but again too. We don't know where the cleanup crew came from. So that's another thing. Oh, yeah. And then too, we learned after I forget which movie it was, but we now learn too that um agent the uh the agent that's always with uh Nick Fury, both of them are scrolls. Yeah. Right. And they know that they're being scrolls for him. So who's not to say what's deep, what's connected into and stuff like that yeah. as far as scrolls go. So he like like how Dion say he might be a scroll, that cleanup crew might mm -hmm. be a part of that division <clears throat> to keep an eye on things right. from Nick Fury. So you Cubby. gotta see all the tie-ins because of Monica Rambo at the end of her they said uh that scroll has said somebody wants to see you. Was it they said Carol Davis wanna see you? Like where is she? And she pointed what was it? Was it did she say yeah, yeah that was me yeah that's captain marvel and it was like it's yeah like, she wants to see you so that's tying in marvel miss marvel captain marvel yeah, of course yeah. and scrolls and the fact that when he looked at it like this this was this was happening at the camp uh at the uh comic-con he ain't had no like the hell he was like yeah yeah that's what i'm saying yeah, like she the, the 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 lady was way more surprised about yeah. the powers than him he was more like all right yeah let's, oh, let's, let's, he's like oh let's we're back. exposed but, like, uh. but that's but that's what that's what also leads me to though thinking that he may have something involved with her getting her powers because like they said it was her mom sent that to them from overseas we don't really know that mm -hmm. so what if he sent that over for her to take them powers and be able to use that because one thing that was very interesting to me is when she cut when she put it on she saw a whole they showed a whole bunch of images before right. it came to her and being able to use her powers and so right. the first thing i chalked it up to was okay well maybe that's the history of whoever had the bracelet before like her uh, her grandmother and fighting before it came over but what uh, i started thinking was what if they showed us a small glimpse of how the inhumans are formed and this right. is our first stage of seeing the Inhumans brought into the MCU for this Earth. Right. So I, I, I just did some quick research based off of the trailer. When you mean uh, research, you mean Google. 
Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like let, me, let, let me sound professional. <laughs> let me sound professional, Dina. <laughs> but um, um, oh boy, the 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 guy that she's crushing on in her high school is supposed to be a villain, and he's going to be, and he's an inhuman the white dude. Yeah, uh, yep. Yeah, he's an inhuman, Damn. capable of transferring his energy into objects and making them explode. Damn. No, no, not the. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. I thought I thought the white boy was just her best friend. I thought she was crushing on the uh, Indian guy. Oh yeah, no, she was. Now yeah, not the white boy. The white boy is his, uh, is a friend. So yeah, it's the it's, it's the Indian guy. The actor name is uh, Rish Shah. <laughs> but he <laughs> plays he plays he plays Cameron Cameron in the uh, in the show. Okay. K A M R A N. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see him. Yeah. yeah. And see, and see, they don't really have anybody by by that name of who he would be and stuff right. like that. So I don't know if he's, he's a like throwaway. a throwaway. Yeah. So it might be just be a throwaway. Oh well, yeah, because they said yeah, because they said Red Dagger may be showing up in this too. And oh yeah. So that wouldn't be yeah. So then that may be who uh, old boy that's playing the cop is looking for. Yeah. Uh, the detective. That may be who he's waiting on. Because that's the you thing know, too. Is like a, they ain't a lot. You know, it'd be a good throwaway Avengers show if they did like a an evil villain Avengers of all of the villains that's still alive in the MCU, like uh, Whiplash, and like uh, you know, like mm-hmm. you go through all the movies and be like, oh, he's still alive, he's in jail. Like bring them all, kind of have like yeah. have like a team up, like a, a Suicide at, Squad. At you know what? They got to at some point they got yeah. to because it got to be. Heroes versus villains. <laughs> I mean, well, technically, ain't that what Thunderbolts is in a way? Yeah, I want to close these villains out, though. I don't want them just to be just well, be floating then, around. Then you know who Hell I said no. would be great. Now, nah, so that goes back to who I think would be great to have a series to do that. I would say uh, the guy that was in One Division. What was his name? Uh, uh, Randall Park's character. Yeah, the guy the one that was in Ant Man yeah. Two. But see, yeah, I yeah. want I want him and uh, an old girl to have a, a show. <laughs> no, no, he no, no. They can, but it's like, yo, because again, he's very fat. He's very like sympathetic when it Woo, comes to Woo, right. And yeah, they, yeah. I think it is. So imagine if Wu though was like, imagine yeah, if he went from, imagine if he went from doing that to being a counselor to all these evil guys. It's yeah, just like, no. hey, man, we're just trying to get you rehabilitated, but not knowing he's actually making a plan. He's actually messing around and making a plan that's gonna have them come together to do some crazy stuff one <laughs> last time before we see all their stuff. Yeah. Here. So kind of like, kind of like uh, Spider Man when they all had they, all the villains were kind of talking to themselves like he did that to you. Well, he did this to me. So I would love to hear all those stories of like, yeah, all those jokes in them. Iron Man did this to me. Captain America did this to me. What Black Panther? What like I would love to hear all those stories coming. Kind of what was that? What was that show on Adult Swim? Uh, where the, where the villains, the the monarch? Why well, can't think of it right now? The villains. How it should, how it should have ended? I mean, no, no, no. Was, it was it was a, it was a whole cartoon on Adult Swim. Um and then the villain of Venture Bros. So in Venture Bros. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You remember they had the, they they had like a villain lounge and you would hear the yeah. villains chop it up like man, let's hear the monarch tripping again. Like we got you, you gotta have one of those with Marvel villains. I, I would love to have that. That would be that would be so dope because there's so yeah. many people you could put in there. Yeah, that you wouldn't think of and shit. and, and yeah. people that's even still active that can make it because like, I would love yeah. to see Kingpin in there. Like just to yeah. make a quick little cameo and see Kingpin, that would be. Bro, cool. like I said, having a villains lounge gets you to have those interactions. So you get to have right. like the the Mandalorian, but the fake Mandalorian, like him come in talk to like like everybody, like oh man, you've been doing it. And then they realize like wait, he's not really scary. Like he's yeah, just yeah, yeah. he's an actor. Yeah. But then you like then you get like you said Whiplash, and then you get, yeah. like like he start bringing in all the villains who necessarily like they were like side villains or small villains, and just having those moments like man. I had him. I had Tony in my grasp. <laughs> and you could have it to where like whiplash is depressed and stuff like that. It's like, man, I had a whole plan to get out. And then this old punk ass motherfucker go. And now he's gone. Right. He's out of existence. I can't even fucking get my right, because I, I, I wonder if villains mad at Thanos. Like we talk, we know the heroes are mad ah. for that. But what is well, how do other villains feel about Thanos? Like yeah. everybody got a whole journal of just Thanos X out just. Be, if they don't, if they don't recreate somebody's like, oh, that's all we got to do, and then and then have like a group of those villains trying to recreate that, that'd be dope. That would or, be dope. Or like the one hated villain, like, hey man, Thanos really ain't that. Big. Like, look here, all he did was snap. Like, if it was me, what I would have did, like, you gotta have that one villain, like, man. I would so love 12, to have that. The twelve villains that's still around is Abomination. Uh, well, we Justin, we know what he's doing. He'll be a Thunderbolt. 
Justin, Justin Hammer. Hammer. Yeah. Okay. Uh, of course, Red Skull. Uh, Ultra Ultron might be still around. Yo, I just want, I want Red Skull to FaceTime from from where he hit. Like I can't get off this plane. Yeah. But, uh, I, <laughs> want want to I want to express myself. <laughs> the fact the fact that he got free twice and then had they zapped him back. Like, damn it, <laughs> damn it. I'm he back. got free twice. I'm back. <laughs> He said, he, 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 had, he had on the lay. I'm sick of this shit. He yeah. had on the lay in a Hawaiian shirt on top of some. What? Who returned the soul stone? <laughs> Who? Who? I was just up here. The soul stone was supposed to be gone. Be like, nah, you didn't know? This thing re- repeats itself. It's just going to come right back. Like, like, wait a minute. Which also goes back to now. This soul stone thing is fucked up because yeah. it's like, if it's going back, why are we killing people? Why is this the ultimate sacrifice thing? It's not a sacrifice. Right. We just offer right. people. That's it. Hey, I need to know how he returned all the stones. I need to know, like, you just, kind of, you just take the stone and be like, let's drop this in this water right you know, here. So, <laughs> so, re- so recently, um, there was an interview with Chris Evans where they did ask him, like, hey, would you ever return to play Captain, uh, Captain America? And stuff like that, you know. So, you know, the one thing line that he did throw out was, you know, like it would be a tall order for me to come back, you know, in white terms, just kind of like, ah, I need yeah. it to be perfect for me to do it. But one thing he did mention was something you just said, Dion, was actually the only thing that did intrigue him was showing how he went return everything. Like he thought that'd be a dope series to just show yeah. like how it's, each stone was ooh, brought back and how like he a ended series. Up. Ooh. Yeah, it seems like, like every ep- six episodes, six stones. Yo, it seems like you every, find, yeah, it seemed like every actor has that one thing because same thing with Hugh Jackman. He said that he would play Wolverine again only if he gets to go against Hulk. So he wants to do the Hulk versus Wolverine. This, that shit ain't happening. That shit ain't no, it's not happening. And, but I'm and, saying and, every, everybody has that one thing. Like, look, I'll come back, but you got to let me do this. He he's coming back for one reason and one reason. No, you have to come back because we have to see you interact with Deadpool. There's mm. no way you can be alive in this movie <laughs> yeah. and not give us 10 seconds of yeah. you talking with Deadpool. Just especially especially if they've been doing it on social media. Just, like, just, just, just be as Hugh Jackman, but we just see your face. He's just like, what? This talk. Don't, don't, That's don't. it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> let let Deadpool just walk up to you and just do this and hug you and walk away. Like I just need to see one interaction with you, yeah. unlike the like the, the Easter because the Easter egg they gave us when he went back in time and he went and shot him and said fixing the timeline that was great. That yeah. was. I'm like, we yeah, yeah. need you to be in this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So let's get back on track, Miss Marvel. Yes. <laughs> we Ms. got way off. We got Marvel. way off. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, here, here's the thing. Like y'all said, uh, I think I think one thing really is to be established that, uh, like how Dion said. There's a lot. There's a lot of gambling going on with this, and I think too the biggest elephant in the room that we just ain't dealt with, and we I'm gonna go ahead and be the person to say it. Uh, people still kind of afraid of these Asians. I ain't gonna call them Indians, so I'm gonna call them Asians. There you go. There you go. Mm-hmm. People yep. still not really, really, really yeah. all down with the Asian thing. Cause me, when I saw it, I liked it just because of the culture that they showed which also like i told y'all in our dm i was kind of upset about we're gonna get into in a little bit i love the culture that they showed which was that showing the neighborhood that they was in the colorful way they got it but also showing like the impact like even to the point of where it's like hey i don't want you wearing tight clothes like this like white dot got around going running around her cosmic energy it's like you're not supposed to wear that (laughs) Yeah. And so I'm like, dang. And so you start yeah. to think about, oh, so that's why you rock the suit you rock now. That's yeah. where the long the scarf suit. comes yeah. from. It's like, okay, cool. But like we said, I, I think it's a trigger because one, for some people feel a certain way about, you know, the history we've had. And then some for others like myself, I feel like, when is it our turn? You know, even to see like how dope this was, like to see her imagination, to see like how so many people were enthralled with how she's this woman she's going to become. It's like you've given this person a world already in one episode. And I love it. Same thing with Spider-Man. He has his own world, his own personality. When are we going to get one? Well, Leon, I, think that, hand. I'm too light on re, I, th- I think that. <laughs> Leon, do this for me. I, it, it don't look like the popcorn. <laughs> 
but I think that that's what Wakanda forever is because you got to think look at so Marvel didn't really start investing in other cultures until Black Panther blew up to eight. But I got to stop right there. I don't mean just this. See, again, that's still okay. a fantasy. True. That yeah. don't exist. So technically, in a way, I still well, can't so relate to that. I, I get what you're saying, but I think that that, so the, the way that Black, pa Black Panther ended with him opening Wakanda and opening, and remember, he was in the inner city and he had that kid, which was a black kid who like, who saw and was uh, inspired by it. And I think that that's what Wakanda forever is going to be. Because remember, the, the the main focus that Shuri had was those outreach programs. So it wasn't like it wasn't it wasn't about like weapons. It wasn't about just sharing things. It was outreach and, and embracing the youth and the inner city. So remember, they stayed their first the first official uh, Wakandian. I forgot what they call it, like national outreach center. program, international yeah. outreach program. Yeah, with yeah. that, it was it was smack dab in the hood. So I think that we're going to explore that at that point. I, I, that's what I'm assuming. Like I said, yeah. I, I don't know if that's yeah, but for, but yeah. yeah, but now how you said though, but that was when Chadwick was alive and the, the, the thing that was being ran is he was doing that for the set that. So again, too, with him gone, like the, the Shuri re return back to Wakanda and the fact that we know Namor is the villain, I yeah. feel like more of the focus is going to be in Wakanda and establishing that citywide, for, you know, as what it really is past having the king. So it's also, like, I get what you said. Piggybacking off of you know more stories about us i kind of feel like they touched on a little bit just a little bit with uh falcon and the winter soldier they, they were yeah, heavy, they, in, they heavy did. in louisiana it was a lot of like black people in america how, what they did to the original uh captain america the black captain america mm -hmm. they um <clears throat> they kept you know asking a lot of black questions i'm not the black falcon i'm you know just how white people look at us and stuff and it was a lot of race stories right there yeah um, but i just don't but still, be, but it, i don't want it to be all trauma and that's yeah but and that's the thing it was like it still didn't tell our world like even yeah. like how they did with luke cage like luke cage was great but you didn't show me harlem like yeah. you showed me harlem in distress you showed me harlem when there's drugs going on when there's wars going on like i have yet for you to see give me a black male u.s male black person right happy in their own world yeah yeah yeah. When will we get that? I don't want to see it overstated. And, and you know, if y'all want to say in the you know, I'm nitpicking and stuff like that. I'm nitpicking because my nieces and my nephews don't have someone they can look up to. Right. I don't know if I can speak for the two of us, but for always we had to like even going back to the conversation of blurred, we always had to put the word black in front of it. Yeah, because right. we never saw it. So it's like even with Captain America, it's like, yo, I want to be like Cap one day, but I don't get to see Cap look like me until yeah. now. And right. even so, then too, it wasn't even the greatest reveal for him to be in that. But we, you know, we've already pressed on that. So yeah, it's just yeah. like, when will we get to see that world of a, a young black, Af a, a, a young black American male or female, the world that they are in, and how they come to step up to be a hero? So you rather see Fresh Prince than Sanford and Son? I want to see both. I want to see both. Yeah, both. we gotta have a we gotta have a world with both. So like, hopefully, like I said, if they get into Storm's origin, maybe her origin is not rooted in trauma because that's my main thing. Like everybody's story doesn't have to be rooted in trauma. You know, hopefully, we can get somebody who they're 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 living in the world. Maybe they're trying to find herself, but it's not trauma. It's like I'm just trying to find who I am in this place. So we have a few characters that we can potentially lead on to. If, like, like I said, if, hopefully with Storm, if they ever do do the Miles Morales storyline, even though I know he's more so Spanish Harlem, um, but being able to have somebody, you know what I'm saying, that's still who's from um, uh, from the hood or everything like that, like we can, we can lead to that. Yeah, yeah you us. know what I'm saying? Um, but like you said, yeah, I, I get what you're saying. Like there's not a lot of characters that we have that, you know, that doesn't have to wave the black flag. Like we want to be, we want to be able to see somebody just black existing but also it's a superhero like you know when you look at fantastic four and you look at johnny storm like he he didn't like, have any trauma he was no nah, but it's like just, there's no you know, there's yeah. no there's no you like will you yeah. like the three of us sitting here there's no you yeah like there's no young deuce in a comic where i can look like the mm -hmm. dude is a blur that works that is that understands the world that it's like to be a black person in america but doesn't 
let that bottle him down all the time. Like you yeah. have a great optimism about yourself. You still have a great ambition about yourself. I don't see that in Marvel. Mm -hmm. Like even too with Falcon, like Falcon still looks defeated. It looks like he's dealing well, with yeah, the in ramifications. The, in, the, in the first episode, in the first episode, he couldn't get along. Yeah. But like literally, he, he, broke, he broke up something that was just like, yo, that really made sense. It's like, yo, how are y'all saving the world and not getting paid? Yeah, yeah, that hurt. It was like, and why does the yeah. black person got to be the one to go through it? They could have showed us that with any other character, but no, you yeah. got to show us. But no, if you, but if you think about it, everybody else, if you think about it, that even still shows the division mm -hmm. you're trying to give in the United States when it comes to black people. You cannot give us full representation. Because think about it, Clint was well off. She'll pay for his house. Yep. Shield is paying for his stuff. Yep. Captain America paid off. Iron Man, obviously, all of these people are taken care of, but you, even the Hulk, got a spot where he can be able to go do his science and shit. You mean to tell me <laughs> you the only one that can't go afford a fucking five for five in Wendy's? A five for five? <laughs> yeah, they don't have don't jobs. Make, yeah, it don't make no sense. Oh, Rhodey, Rhodey. So far, I don't think he has any trauma outside of him getting injured. But he's, he's military, but yeah, that's it. Though. It's like it's like it's military. Like we don't run by Nick Fury, except for women's Marvel, I mean, Captain yeah. Marvel. We don't and, run and, by him. And, and Civil War. It was just like, hey, you because he wanted to be in Civil War, but they ain't put him in there. And so it's just like it's it makes sense. But even too for like Nick Fury thing, it still cultivates from something different. Like Nick Fury was originally white, and Correct. then you made him black, and you made it based off of Samuel L. Jackson, and it's just like. Is it the same person or did you just recast it? And then two is it's like, oh no, he's a clone. Like Nick Fury is kind of like James Bond. Anybody can be <laughs> Nick Fury. Anybody like, can be it. <laughs> the, the squinted eyes. It's like, what? It's just like, I just don't get why there's always a caveat to when it comes to the black American being represented. Well, you know, I, as I was driving into the studio today, I was thinking about that. And I was like, you know, we always have these stories. We always have, even just in general, Marvel stories, superhero stories, they always have a trauma. I was like, how, I was like, I can't wait until we get the intro. Like, you know, where they're going to, it's going to seem like, look, I ain't got no intro. Look, I'm a regular person. I got powers. Here I am. Let me tell you what I'm doing. Like, like, why did, like, like, you know, we, like, everybody's story is always, uh, I was the nerd who got bullied, or I was the socially awkward outcast, or I was the person who was an orphan. It was like, man, like, we need to start yeah. getting some stories of the smart somebody. Cause I'm like, also, like, we, like, that's why I like the boys a lot. Like the boys in in the show, you got that aspect of seeing a a, a parent who's like, look, I you gonna be a superhero. Like we don't yeah. have that in Marvel where people are like, there's always the parents like, oh no, you got superhero, you got powers. Let's you know we let's hide it. But where's the, where's the mom and dad who's like, you got powers? Oh shit, we on. Like where's that? Where's Cause that? Yeah, parent? cause that, like like but like how uh, how Dion said it's like yo, where's my fresh prints of Marvel? Yeah. And yeah. then too, it's like where's the realism of that? Like you just said, Dion. It's like yo, I would love to see somebody go. Wait, you got powers? Mm -hmm. So yeah. uh, how much money can we make off of this? What yeah, yeah. Because it's like yeah. you didn't even give me that for Luke. Like Luke's literally comes from heroes for hire. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's like, yo, where is that? It's like, yo, that, that I just, I, I, in seeing just how much they focused on Kamala Khan's culture and how well <laughs> they got it right, it was just like, where is ours? So, so do y'all remember in the comics? And I think this is what they're trying to avoid. Now, hear me out. This is what they're trying to avoid. Remember in the comics when she got her powers from the the mist, mm -hmm. she was so enthralled about being Captain Marvel. She turned into a white woman. Remember that. Yes, in the comic book, and yes. that's how she was trying to be like Marvel. And she starts stretching her body, so she was morphing herself into Captain Marvel, a white woman. I feel it was like we have to avoid that. That's going to be catastrophic. <laughs> you can't do yeah. that. So <laughs> I think they're doing the mist around her, as in like I'm thinking I'm Captain Marvel. This is what Captain Marvel did. She shoots stuff out with her hands. I'm Captain Marvel. So until she starts to realize I can create my own powers, she's going to become herself. And then later in the episode, mm -hmm. she's going to understand that I can be this. Now I can actually stretch my hand. And like that's, that. I think that's what her mom's going to play because her mom kept on saying that. Like, like if you, if you, if, if you, 
take how Marvel normally does things. They always put undertones. Whoever is the voice of reason, and they always give you something that can go. Yeah, like, so she kept on asking it, like you know, even the way it ended. Do you want to be this cosmic being, or do you want to be yourself? And she said, "I want to yeah. be cosmic." Yep. But in yeah. reality, she's telling her, "Like, no, you don't have to be Miss Marvel." And even her friend, he said, when she said, "I'm just a regular person," he said, "No, you are Kamala Khan." So yeah. it's like everybody is telling her, "Be yourself. You don't got to be anybody right. else." So That's you may be inspired by Miss Marvel, but yeah. like you like you like you said, Dion, she this series is going to be her realizing and coming into her own I, I don't have to be miss marvel though i am cosmic i can be my own person and this is what i am and when learning who she is as a person well, i think it, i think it's an ode to both so i think that's the thing too that she will grow to understand and i hope we'll see in the series is that when she did ask her that it's the answer is both be yeah. cosmic but like you said be yourself mm -hmm. you don't have to be a cosmic captain marvel yeah be the cosmic kamala khan mm -hmm. and what comes from that mm -hmm. and yep. so it's just like i hope that that is what they decide to show and then even too like i said how the enemies are coming i think even based off the first episode like you said dion i'll be honest i don't want a villain i want to like you said either make it a throwaway <laughs> or make it something that has to do with what's going on now and i think this would be a great time Ooh. for them to introduce a I think this would be a great time to mm -hmm. introduce AIM because think about it. Stark is really Stark Industries is in the shithole. Yep. Hammer Industries is gone. Uh, we don't have the Osborne Corp. We don't have a corporation that's corrupt in the MCU right now. Mm -hmm. So AIM would be a great place to make its debut right here. Yeah. To to take that back. They they see yeah. the tech and they want it, and then somebody obviously does the do it themselves. It's yeah. like a kind of throwaway character, like they did with uh, yeah. Morbius. <laughs> yeah, but, but they they actually now now that now that you bring that up, they may actually be going towards that. I don't know if it's going to be aim, but aim would be the best option. But like they hinted at in Spider Man, um, uh, about uh, in Far from no, yeah, in Spider Man Far from Home, that there are people in the underground market that has been gathering and capturing tech since the fall of stark tower right yeah and everything so there's people that have been grabbing tech and doing things and selling it on the black market there has to be there's going to be a top investor a top person who's going to be taking that and repurposing it and obviously we like we've seen because uh if i'm um oh boy from iron man 3 he's not dead is he iron man 3 uh, the, dude, the dude that um that was going oh, yeah. to get yeah the, the 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 lava dude yeah did he oh, die I'm thinking, of, I'm, thinking, I'm thinking of yeah Same Iron Man the lava dude he did he blew up he blew up okay he oh, you said Iron Man up. three Iron oh yeah, yeah 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 when he did the Mandarin yeah. no, no, he died. Yeah, he blew up. Okay, he did. Okay, because 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 uh, remember, like you know, there, there's there's obviously people that has either that as rivaling Tony or who has also um, used some of his tech already in general and stuff like that, right? So there's got to there's going to be uh, underlying like now that when when the world crumbled and everybody was gone for the blip, somebody was gathering that yeah. gathering them, that tech them, and everything all, like that. Them Ultron robots are everywhere. They just they yeah. didn't disintegrate. They just they just fell out of the they sky. They just fell. Yeah, that was it. So it's just like, yo, ain't no tell. That's why I said like aim, aim would seem like the best one for her to be able to take on right now without having to bring in a character that's not necessarily needed or like how Dion said, somebody that you can throw away. But I would think establishing aim through here, especially in like she's in New Jersey. So like that just seemed like the place <laughs> where some bullshit is going on with a corporate yeah. company. Yeah, and we yeah. experimenting on some stuff so it's like i can see them bringing that in because too um it just reminds like every time i see her i think about the video game and so i know that she can enlarge herself and become like not as big as ant-man but can become pretty massive so it's just like i don't see disney allowing her to beat up multiple people like that yeah i see them kind of like especially with it being kind of kiddish like going back to the rules of like cartoons back in the 90s like if teenage mutant ninja turtles killed somebody they were killing a robot so you see yeah. them slashing somebody <laughs> it's a machine so it yep. don't scare you i, I think they're gonna try to do the same thing for here if they want to show like the you know like how Dion said the ex you know the the differences in her powers it would be more beneficial for aim to make its debut here than for us to get like one of these characters that we know that y'all might try to connect them to a bigger thing and it may not hit as well because it's like i'm not gonna believe kabbalah khan can beat the celestial destroyers 
on mm-hmm. first season. Do y'all do, do I don't I don't know if, if uh if y'all got this, but I really want to hear Scott Lang's podcast. <laughs> yeah, yes. They're yes. gonna, they're gonna <laughs> open up make that real. They're gonna make open that up with that on uh a quantum mania. They, they, they yep. have to open up with that. They are, yeah. yeah because I feel, like they have, I feel like it's in a small ass room and he's talking like this. That's and you're gonna hilarious. see his daughter come in and she's just gonna be like, yo, I told it's almost time. <laughs> but I, I, I also I wonder is he making himself the top dog, right? Like like and it's like like in the podcast, no, he's gonna tell the story. I wonder like what what elements of the story did he change to make it seem like he was the one that saved the day? <laughs> I mean, check no, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's stop, hold on. Let's stop. Let's make sure we get his man his flowers right now. Oh, yeah, no, no. He yeah. is the true only reason all of y'all oh, yeah. stop Thanos playing. Of course. Of That's course. it. And actually, yeah. if you really want to give the MVP award to somebody, it was a fucking rat. Yeah. Rat is the MVP of this whole story. Yes, it was. Ah. He not walk his ass across that little button. Scott Lang still be in the quantum realm right now. I yeah. mean, but we should do a, a, a Disney Plus about that rat. Yeah, <laughs> and then meet up with Frog Thor and stuff like that. And all of them become the mighty. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. I would love to see uh, Animal Adventures like him, Thor, the the Frog Thor that was stuck in the jar yep. and Loki. Uh, the Alligator Loki. Alligator like, Loki. I would love to see That's just one funny. one little spinoff of that. Just an Anthony. Episode. You gotta have Anthony. Anthony, all of them. I'm gonna add Anthony. Of them <laughs> you say the dog from uh uh from uh Hawkeye? Yep, uh pizza. Oh yeah. yeah. Yep, with the one eye. Yep, all yep. of them in one thing, and they got to bring in the, the cat from uh the cat that scratched uh, uh Nick Fury. Oh hell yeah, the floor. The floor. The floor. <laughs> he do what he won't though. He right, but he's, he's, the, he's their Hulk. He's their Hulk. Yep. He's their he's their crazy one that you like. You like, hey, hey, we got we got. We got a cat. <laughs> hey, Mar- can hey Marvel. Can Listen, I say this you... real quick? Can I say yeah. this real quick? I went back and watched Ms. Marvel uh, recently. I mean, Captain Marvel recently. And when he got his eyes scratched, he said, oh, motherfucker. He's like, is it good? He's like, he said, how's your eye? He said, never better. <laughs> and he kept, he kept making it like, like it was getting better. He's like, oh, it's getting better every day. And every time he showed it, it got worse. It was <laughs> it was it was <laughs> What's funny is, is, Prior to, I forgot which movie it was, and they was like, "What happened to your eye?" And he was like, "He got real serious, like that's another story." Like, and yeah. he thought he was going to do no, this. No, he just said, "Last time I trusted somebody, I lost an eye." Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he made it seem like it was this, like it was this big, like it was all little story. <laughs> yeah, it was like yo, because everybody kept wondering, it's like yo, what happened right yeah. here for you to lose this? Yeah. A cat, a cat, a cat, really? A cat. Hey, look. As we know, it's always some pussy that'll get you. So, oh, hey. ah! and with that, <laughs> we gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode of uh, Shroud of a Comic Book. But before we go, I just want to know final thoughts on how this series is gonna come out. Do you think it's going to uh, improve, or do you think it we may this may be Marvel's first kind of? Ooh, gotta go no, back to I the drawing it. board. I got it, hundred percent. It's going to take off. I just wish the pilot would have grabbed more people and got people more attracted to it. Mm-hmm. Um, I think Monica Rambo is going to show up very soon. Yep. And then uh, Captain Marvel is going to be the, the the coup de gras to tie mm-hmm. everybody together. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's what's going to happen. Yeah, I think I think it's going to end with Monica Rambo meeting her, and then it's going. It's I think it's going to end on a on a cliffhanger of them getting together. And saying we need to find Carol, like I feel like, like because I feel like we we may not get Carol in in this show, but they're going to hint to her. She's going to find her powers. Monica Rambo up get, up from Wandavision to now has been living and honing her powers. So I believe mm-hmm. that the way it'll end will be it'll be her and Monica being like, okay, well let's get to the person, and then that's going to introduce into the Marvel Ooh. general. Hold on, somebody has the other. It's, it's two bangles. I'm, I'm assuming it's two bangles. So if she has one, the villain might have the other one and be like, I need both of those. Right. And I oh, think yeah. it's going to be a creep person that's going to tie Monica Rambo to, 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 to Captain Marvel. I think like it's going to be like, we need our property back. Yeah. I feel like it's going to be something like that. Oh, no, 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 no. Actually, no, 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 no. Hold on, no, no. She only has one thing. I just looked at the image. She only actually has one bracelet. Really? Only one bangle? Yeah, yeah. 
All right, yeah, yeah. she only has one bangle when she rocks it. Yeah. So, um, uh, but again, too, like how you said, that may be the story. Then, if she has one, is there is there a pair? Is it right. a second one? Um, Ooh, but I, yeah, yeah. But I'm like, I'm like you, dudes. I, I, but just a little different. I think we're only going to see Monica, like Dion said. One because I think it's too soon to introduce Miss uh, Captain Marvel. Yeah. And then secondly, there's a big piece that has to get shown before that happens, which is the fact of why Monica and Carol don't speak. Because remember, when she had said, like, yo, remember, like, when they mentioned Captain Marvel, she got an attitude. Yeah. She was like, yeah, I don't want to talk about her. And they were just like, oh, okay. Oh, yeah. So again, that could have something to do with the fact that she left Earth, never came back, and her yeah. mom died. I yeah, think I thought, the simple I, fact yeah. that she didn't come back to help her mom is going to leave her with something. Yeah, I believe so. You're right. You're right. Yeah, they're going to yeah. have that. So we definitely got to see that unfold first. So like you said, either we're going to see Monica come or we're going to see Carol come. And I'm still centering around the fact of the Terrigen Mist is in items. I don't I don't know why, but for some reason now I'm starting to think that we are going to see a lot of these things get put into items rather than how they show us in comics. Because one thing that also got me was uh, I went back and watched Doctor Strange and I had noticed something that uh, Moldor has said when he was fighting Doctor Strange and he was teaching him the weapons. He had said, this is the staff of the Living Tribunal. Oh, yeah. And I was like, yeah. wait a minute. And, you know, again, looking at everything I'm now, I'm like, whoa. How? And then two, though, is that power from the living tribunal. So it's just yeah. like, yo, we've always known about like little bit of like artifacts that have been left and stuff on Earth from passages. So it's just like, yo, are we going to see that now introduced into the MCU as well? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, personally, yeah. I do hope it's Monica Rambo because Tiana Paris is so damn fine. Yes. <laughs> and I would, yes. I would definitely want to see more of her. <laughs> yes. Hello. Hopefully she got a suit. Hopefully she folks and got the scoop, man. I like that. But yeah. I like that approach. Uh, will the uh, Terrigen Mist is going to be in items? I like that. So that that would help with a lot of Inhumans, yeah. people that. And I think that when they went into that little realm, it was like the um, these are the people that's attached to an item or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's connecting them in, as a history and stuff like that. So I think that'd be a great way to introduce the Inhuman form rather than it just being somebody took Terrigen Mist and then made it and that's how she got her power so right. I'm interested to see uh but let us know in the comments though how y'all feel about it. how you feeling about Miss Marvel be respectful in the comments okay no <laughs> y'all know what I'm talking about uh, you know how some of you some of us Americans get a hey, be mindful in the comments yeah, please, okay? yeah. please just if you ain't got nothing nice to say sugarcoat the shit because we know mm -hmm. how YouTube works also, if you had unlimited money and you can fan out as a one as a superhero at a convention, put in the comments who you would fan out of. Like. I think that'd be because, like, I, I I like how like how Kamala was going crazy over Captain her Marvel suit. and everything and her suit and everything. So I want to know, like, if you can if you had unlimited resources and you can fan out about one specific character full full out at the convention and everything, who would you go at? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Uh, uh, young dudes, I'm gonna ask you something, uh, and I'm gonna see if you know how to spell it. You ready for it? <laughs> All right. How do you spell Thor's hammer's name? Okay, it's M O J. No, it's M J O I N E R. Damn. Is it N I, <laughs> it's N -I -R, right? Huh, go it's for N it. It's, it. It's M J O N I R, right? Nope. We missing a word. It's an L in there. It's yeah. it is an L in there. Oh, oh it's, it's M J. It's M J L O N I R. Close. It's M J O L N I R. Yep. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> That's you are me, yo. But I mess up every time. I'm like, you know what? I'm I mess up the spelling in it. Sometimes I say it's more near. Sometimes I say it's more joy. Like, I just I butcher it as much as I can. Every time I say me, I call it me all the time. I don't yeah. know why. <laughs> right. it's like, I say M I R M I R mirror mirror. I just say that mirror mirror. <laughs> Yo, ever since mirror, 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 I'm like mirror mirror. Mirror mirror. Like, what? Yeah, like, mirror, mirror. mirror mirror. You know who I'm talking about? Mirror mirror. <laughs> But man, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for checking out this episode, man. Be sure that y'all um, 
like, subscribe, comment to the channel, and make sure that you ref you follow Dion and of course Young Deuce on all their respective channels, Lactose, and of course the Geek Set Podcast. Mm -hmm. And we shall catch you next time. Mm -hmm. Hey, this fly has.
news, you want to come to, you know what I'm saying, Geek Set and tell us about it. Like, I want to. You call it bleak. Bo- no, that's, that's that's not good. Bleak. Nah, shit. we got blurred is already established, so we cool. We cool okay. with that. Yeah, we cool okay. with, with with establishing as blurs. <laughs> you know what's funny? Why is it that every blurred ain't set well with the word blurred yet? Like we'd be like, I can't find nothing better than it, but also too. <laughs> no, I, I, I rock back with, to this. I rock with being a blur, man. I rep the hard, bro. Like I said, well, we, I, I, I we got merch and everything. I think the problem is, is nerd is associated with a white person. That's why it's called black nerd. Mm-hmm. So I think it's, 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 um, I think we should just kind of create our own word. Versus, well, I said with, no, with this document, with this documentary. You already got, yeah. You already, you already got this. Once, established. once, once this documentary come out, that's when it's going to be all right. All right. Everybody's going to going to be cool with it. Trust me. Mm-hmm. Cause the people okay. that we got involved, the people that we got involved, plus y'all, cause like I said, I'm, I'm tapping in with y'all for it. Like it's about to be really dope. Like, I can't wait to we can talk about exactly what we're working on. Yeah, I was, I wonder what, what's the definition of of a nerd or a geek. Um, are you looking for like Webster or like? No, in- because it has changed tremendously. Well, yeah, it has because if you think about it too, um, and this was something I pointed out to one of my homeboys, and they kind of got offended, but whatever. Um, nerd is kind of generalized now. Because like my homeboy is a huge football player, and he'd be making fun of me for liking wrestling and all this other stuff. But I was like, yo, give me Deshante Watson's average field goal percentage or running yard percentage. Mm-hmm. And you know, he gave me the number. I couldn't remember the shot. I said, right. now, how was it from this year to last year? And what was the percentage difference? And he gave it to me like that. I said, bro, right. you're a math nerd. Yeah. Well, no, I, I wouldn't say math nerd, I would say football nerd. So this is how we've been explaining it to people. Is that uh, the way that we establish like a nerd or a geek? We say it's somebody who can speak passionately about a specific topic, right? So like your your homie who can tell you all the stats. Like we just like basketball and football, but the people that can tell you the ins and out and why a person is good, they're a sports nerd. They're a sports yeah. geek. You know, yeah. same thing. Like we we can we can say, oh man, this IPA is good, but there's somebody who's going to tell you why this IPA. They're beard nerds. So to mm-hmm. me, a nerd is just somebody that is passionate who can speak in depth about a specific topic. Because why that's can't it, why can't it be called a shoe nerd? They call themselves sh- sneakerheads. They can. Shoe- I call them shoe nerds. I, I listen. There, I embrace the whole term, and I and I be putting people on. Yeah. I guess, I guess, yeah, so I guess, like, for you, yeah, like, you, it seems like you have taken that responsibility yeah. to uh, accept that and make that change and stuff like that. Because mm-hmm. it's like, I don't I don't want to compare it to this, but it's like, in a way, too, like, because it does have, like, uh, like Dion said, a negative connotation. It's like, I would change in, uh, the N-word. Like, we say yeah. nigga, but at, at where it came from, it was a term of endearment. But, like, how you said, you can make that change to where, like, my kids from now will be able to say nerd or blurred and be proud. Yeah, but like uh, like how Dion said though, for us still we we still got to be brought around there because like you said, nerd is associated to us with like the pocket protector and the dudes that get True. beat up, and, and that's the like, whole hey. and that's the whole reason that we we chose to do the documentary because we was like, see, that's the stereotype of a nerd. So being a black nerd is even more uh, stereotype because they think we're all Steve Urkel, and I'm like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So it's like you know it gets to that point, but we you know throughout. All these interviews that I've been having, and even just chopping it up with Joe, is like, yo, no, nah, there's some cool niggas with that that are nerds, bro. Like, it, we're not all Urkel, so we want to be able to showcase that and try to, you know, dispel those stereotypes of what of a nerd and a black nerd is. Also, too, though, I, I do gotta throw this out. Urkel showed us a lot. A lot of people don't get that nigga credit for. It. Oh, of course, like, that's what I said. Urkel that's- was a straight out nerd who said, yo. I'm gonna get in a machine that's gonna change my <laughs> DNA. But <laughs> really, I just popped in a pod, changed clothes, and took my glasses off. And, and stood up straight. And, and stood up straight. And, and stood up straight. So it was like, yo, <laughs> was he really a nerd, or was this dude probably one of the smartest people genius. in the TV universe? This dude was a genius. Genius. Because it's not like he couldn't acclimate to be like that. Because he proved to himself, like, yo, if you take away the spell of the science thing. Mm-hmm. And look at Stefan or Kel. This dude could legitimately pull your bitch. Yeah. And yeah. always could do that. And yeah. chose to wear glasses and suspenders. Even at the end of that series, wore glasses and suspenders and still got the chick he wanted. Yeah. yeah. And he even duplicated himself. 
No one he, talking about that. he cloned himself. <laughs> hey, those, those last few seasons was wild. He was time traveling. He was cloning himself. He turned himself into a Bruce Lee variant. Uh, he, he, he made he a robot. Space. He went to space. He made a robot version of himself that he was, was like the original <laughs> Marvel Universe. He was the original <laughs> 838616 Universe. <laughs> he was he was wilding uh, the last few episodes. Uh, the, his time machine was a bug. It was a it was a bug car though. Like yes, <laughs> that went in time, bro. This dude had a pod at somebody else's house. <laughs> I mean, nobody talking about that. No, as much as Carl hated having it there, <laughs> nobody talking about how high that light bill was using that damn machine. I would love to hear somebody explain to the writers of Family Matters episode one of the pilot how far they gonna go. They be like, okay, it's gonna be a show about Carl uh, Carl Winslow developing his, encouraging his family to to live right in a black neighborhood as a cop, blah blah blah. So my else come up, have an idea. What if there's a nerd who duplicates himself? Well, no. Times. <laughs> well, suppo- supposedly he was, he was a lot of that stuff. Yeah, he, was, he wasn't supposed to be a main character. What ended up happening? Yeah, I'm saying <laughs> how contrast. It, it has gotten from the oh, first yeah. episode. Imagine <laughs> explaining that to them. They'd be like, "Yo, slow down, calm yeah. down." <laughs> but there had been there had been like uh like for a while when that happened. Like there were rumors before, like they had the reunion and stuff. That like that was why Harriet quit towards the end because the show came about him instead yeah. of Family Matters. Because originally, like I don't know if you know, like that's a spinoff. Family Matters right. is a spinoff from an original show from Harriet's character from another show. Yeah, and that's a, how they made different family members. members. Yeah, I know them up. Oh, uh, I think what yeah. it was two two seven. I think no, it was uh, something else. No, no, it was something like that. Some strange. Yeah, perfect, perfect strangers. Perfect no, no, no. Stranger. Yeah, perfect strangers. Yeah, and um, and so to get that from where it's like it's about this show, this spinoff dude who's supposed to be like a little nuisance, but like pops in every now and again and stuff like that, kind of like how they would do on like family, uh, Full House and stuff when yeah. they come in, and then for several seasons later, the show's about him. And yeah. just him, and Wait. to where like you don't really see Harriet or the rest of them. It's just kind of like, bro, they got a top ten. Happened? They got a top ten inventions that he made. Hilarious. So he made, of course. So he also made a jetpack. He made yeah. a force filled belt to help Eddie survive against a heavyweight boxer. That's I mean, right. Yeah, yep. we know about the cloning machine and going back in time, um, and the transformation machine. The Urkel bot was the radio. He also made a fat compressor. <laughs> <laughs> he did make that. Yup. No, no, no. Um, the aunt, she, uh, his aunt, she went in to do to get some weight loss surgery. Also made a snooze the one juice. That played, uh, Donna Summer. Donna yep. Summers played her. Yep. He also made snooze juice that can make help anybody get a lot of sleep. And he also created uh, the Honey I Shrunk the Kid machine, like where you can uh, he shrunk himself. He was hitting threes. <laughs> he had no failed machine. <laughs> he was no, wilding no. threes. The only thing he failed was not being able to get out of the south side of Chicago. <laughs> no, no, we worth make money from it. <laughs> like, why are y'all still here? <laughs> One of these should have you set for life. Like, oh, yeah. like we wasted four seasons of this shit with him and Laura not yeah. working. Because Carl should have been said, look here, this dude just made a time machine. You need to get with this dude. Stop yeah. playing. <laughs> Stop playing. He's right. gonna be a billionaire. You can't do no better. Who you gonna get yeah. with Waldo? Yeah, yeah, hey, that's yeah. The, that's the only left. Hey, Will is 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 the uh, Young Justice right after this or is it Friday? No, it's right after this. Okay, just I thought so. I I, I didn't know if that was a mistake or not. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. And so like, cause not cause we yeah. always like jump into stuff. So this probably this part right here gonna be a small episode of just talking about this stuff because now yeah. after we are going to jump into the real show in three, two, one.